Chapter 617 One Light One World I will be more powerful in the will world than in reality? Lin Ming asked, slightly startled. Then what happens if I kill others in the will world? Will they die in the real world? Or will they be affected in some other way? Demon Shine said. If you can completely destroy someone else's will within the world of will then they will also die in the real world. Lin Ming felt a chill crawl up his back as he heard this. But I should have died just now. That bloody axe already cut me in half. But I'm not dead yet. Demon Shine chuckled. Hee hee. This saint said that you will only die if your will is destroyed in the will world. This saint didn't say that you would die if your body was cut in half in the will world. Destroying someone's will isn't as simple as it seems. I see. Lin Ming nodded. He had fallen into the mindset that being cut in half would kill him. But, the truth was that the world of will had a completely different set of laws that governed it. Perhaps, within the will world, being cut in half was the same as a minor wound. Demon Shine continued. Within the will world, being split in half, beheaded, or even crushed won't kill you. This is why there are many martial artists that when they reach a high level, such as your so-called emperor level powerhouse, if they have confidence in their own willpower, will have matches in the world of will. In there, it's not as easy to be injured. But of course, in a real life or death battle, they would combine the power of their will world and their actual combat strength into one whole and fight in the real world. This is also how they can use their highest degree of strength. Every time Demon Shine mentioned the emperor level powerhouse and emperor level talents of the sky spell continent, he would usually add in something derisive before it, such as so-called, obviously, to him. These powerhouses were nothing more than low-grade minions. If they went to the higher level realm of the gods, they simply wouldn't even enter Demon Shine's eyes. Combat in the world of will only looks at how strong or weak your willpower is. Your actual combat strength is irrelevant. Within the will world, you are God. You can create and be anything you want. For instance, as long as your will is strong enough, you can create a heaven's kept treasure, a saint's kept treasure, a powerful summon beast, contract beast, or if your willpower is at the very limit, you can even summon a god beast. As long as your willpower is strong enough, you can completely sweep away all opponents even if they are several times stronger than you in reality. Create a saint treasure? Create a contract beast? Or even a god beast? Lin Ming was shocked. I can even create a god beast? Would it really have the power of a god beast though? Within the world of will, the god beast that you create will truly have the power of a god beast. But, that is only limited to the will world. As this saint has said, within that world, you are god. The will is an important symbol of whether or not a high level martial artist is weak or strong. The sooner you comprehend a battle spirit, the greater its advantages will be towards your future. This is because a battle spirit, regardless of your perception, lucky chances, heart of martial arts, and other factors such as that, will often naturally grow along with your cultivation. Lin Ming, this road of emperor is your chance. Even if your strength doesn't grow here, you still have to start forming the foundation for your battle spirit. When you reach a high boundary, your willpower, which is in essence your battle spirit, will be a great portion of your strength. Not just that, but at that level, it will even be an integral part of your combat style. People at that level will also respect a martial artist that has a formidable will more. I've got it. Lin Ming nodded. The same ability would often have different values for different people. For instance, within the Sky Fortune Kingdom, even if a landlord and merchant had the same amount of wealth, a landlord's status would be higher than the merchant's. This was because land farming was considered a more legitimate business, while being a merchant was much more low class, even if they earned the same amount of money. In fact, after many merchants earned a fortune, they would often purchase large swathes of property and became local landlords, even if the profits from these properties were far lower. Lin Ming, continue on. If you can use this road of emperor to thoroughly temper your will, then it will have a profound influence on your future growth. Don't miss out on this chance. I will. Lin Ming was overjoyed that he met Demon Shine from the Magic Cube's space. With his guidance it was much easier to see the path before him. Otherwise, if he came to the road of emperor and used increasing his strength as the only goal, he would have missed this rare chance. Continuing along the road of emperor, the will lights that appeared were from quasi emperors. They burned even more vividly than before. As Lin Ming stepped forwards, a light flashed, and he once again appeared in the world of will. Ha 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 ha. Laughter echoed in Lin Ming's ear like a thunderclap. This was a voice that came from this world of will. The more powerful the willpower was, the more heaven shaking and earth shattering the voices would be. Kaka. Between heaven and earth, a massive thunderbolt crashed into the ground. A Goliath martial artist with a full head of red hair grasped a halberd and rushed towards Lin Ming. Concept of thunder? Lin Ming was surprised to discover that even in the world of will, there were still manifestations of laws. With the concept of thunder combined with a strange halberd skill, this quasi emperor level powerhouse's attack was certainly strong. It was just that its speed was slow. It was obvious that the will that this quasi-emperor powerhouse left behind was very slow. Perhaps it was because it had been worn down through the long passage of time. Or perhaps it was because the amount of will left behind in the light wasn't much to begin with. Otherwise, the momentum of this quasi-emperor powerhouse's attack would be much more than this. Lin Ming directly faced this Goliath powerhouse's halberd. He did not dodge, only thrusting his spear out. This was because he knew that with his current speed, dodging was impossible. Puff, puff. Two bursts of blood shot out like a rain shower. In the world of will. Having his body pierced through was a horrific pain as if his soul was being shredded to pieces. Lin Ming originally wasn't a match for this quasi-emperor's will. However, the strength of this quasi-emperor's will wasn't able to sustain itself. Every time a bit of this strength was consumed, it would be gone. But as for Lin Ming, his will actually grew without end. This was his greatest advantage. After a harrowing and violent battle, Lin Ming successfully destroyed the Goliath quasi-emperor powerhouse. Oh, 
the corresponding will light was extinguished, and Lin Ming was ejected from the world of will. I can actually comprehend a great number of things from these seniors' martial arts skills. Aside from tempering his will, when that quasi emperor attacked just now, the moves that contained the concept of thunder gave Lin Ming some inspirations, because the will that this quasi emperor had left behind was already very weak. The attacks were slow and the striking power was also low. This way, the mysteries within those attacks were much more clearly seen and easier to understand. If I'm not wrong, then most of the young heroic elites that enter the road of emperor probably use the majority of their energy to study their opponents' moves and concepts. Even Yen Kai and Maha, as imps who are proficient in soul force, probably also tried to comprehend these concepts and moves. It's just that at the same time they were probably trying to figure out how to capture some of this emperor will for their own use. But, no matter how much emperor will they captured, in the end it wasn't theirs, so it had no capacity for growth. The moves and concepts of quasi-emperor and emperor-level powerhouses were no doubt valuable. But compared to tempering the will and forming a battle spirit, they were far less important. It was simply incomparable. However, one couldn't blame Yen Kai and Maha for being short-sighted. Their own willpower was limited, so the chances of them ever forming their own battle spirit was far too distant a goal. Normally in the Holy Demon Continent, a martial artist would form their own battle spirit around the time they became a peerless emperor. As for Yen Kai and Maha, the two of them only had a cultivation of a one- and two-star demon king. In addition, Yan Kai and Maha were only from relatively normal sect backgrounds. These sects had never produced an emperor-level powerhouse, so the knowledge and legacies they had of battle spirits was literally nothing at all. Yan Kai and Maha simply didn't know the method to form a battle spirit, nor did they understand their importance. Lin Ming carefully recalled the attacks of that supreme elder from just now, and after perceiving some insights, he decisively moved on to the next battle spirit light. Compared to the last flame, this one was far too bright. It was extremely radiant and dazzling, like a smaller, darker, sun. Lin Ming's mind moved. His eyes locked onto the relief below the lights, and he saw that indeed, this will was left behind by a true emperor-level powerhouse that had died. Bu giant demon. She walked the world 6,000 years ago. She became a demon emperor at 109 years of age, and perished at 130 years of age. When she died, her cultivation was a one-star demon emperor. Information about Gu appeared in Lin Ming's mind, without a doubt. If this Gu could become a demon emperor then she was an emperor-level talent. However, after becoming a demon emperor, she was only the most ordinary of demon emperors. All those able to become demon emperors were emperor-level talents. Wanting to stand out in this crowd of monstrous geniuses was extremely difficult. Gu had become a demon emperor at 109 years of age. This achievement wasn't early. In fact, her talent was much worse than Yu and Gu Yu's from before. Those two had earned the glory of becoming title dejures. If they hadn't died at such a young age, they definitely would have become existences capable of jumping ranks to fight even after becoming emperor-level powerhouses. Lin Ming took a deep breath and adjusted himself to his peak state. What he was about to face was a true emperor-level powerhouse. Even if this person was the most ordinary of emperor-level powerhouses, they were still an existence he couldn't even compare to. He naturally had to be extremely sincere in this battle. Stepping into the range of Guzha's will lights, Lin Ming only felt as if he had crossed a space barrier, arriving at a completely different dimension. One light, one world. The will of a true emperor-level powerhouse was enough to manifest their own world. When Lin Ming's will entered this world, he felt like a mortal that had been dropped naked into a field of winter snow. This kind of chilling cold was enough to freeze his marrow. A thick killing intent suddenly filled the air. With a rustling sound, a massive python suddenly appeared out of thin air and killed its way towards Lin Ming. A transformation? Lin Ming recalled that Demon Shine said that within the world of will, a martial artist was God. They could turn their own to different forms in order to kill their enemies. This massive python in front of him was most likely the transformed shape of the Emperor Will. This python was over 100 feet long and its body was as thick as Lin Ming's waist. It opened its massive jaws and bit towards Lin Ming. Its speed was much quicker than the last several martial artists. With Lin Ming's speed, it was impossible for him to dodge this bite. He fiercely gripped his teeth and thrust the purple comet spear into the python's open mouth, bringing with it the concept of thunder. The purple comet spear was like a bolt of lightning that shot into the python's upper jaw. Blood sprayed out, but that python also bit down on Lin Ming. Bang! The earth was cracked apart as the python's giant head crashed into it, and Lin Ming was swallowed into the python's stomach. Lin Ming, you are not a match for this emperor will. Immediately withdraw. Demon Shine's voice sounded out in Lin Ming's mind. 